23rd. How's everyone's Groundhog Day? Looks as though the West Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals extended our quarantine or our uh, non-emergency hearing, yada, 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 until May the 15th, I believe. So I suspect that our governor is going to do the same. And yay, we got three more weeks of this glorious crap. So everyone stay sane. I'm going to the farm. Working from farm, which involves some chopping, good bit of working, got a big project I gotta finish, and document review. Hey, Bobby, it's raining. You don't wanna go outside, it's raining. Bitters. Bitters. It's raining. No, it's raining. Just spent three hours knuckle deep in a damn document and um, now I'm gonna Check out some frustrations. So I got one of these friggin rectangular logs. This one's 44 inch white oak, so it's a hardwood. I have no clue if I'm gonna cut this full thing. I doubt it very seriously. Probably cut half, watch the video, assess, and then go back to the other half. A foot pine with this crappy hard tree using a woolly butt axe. Yeah, let's try if I can have some efficiency in these board holes. You know, I'm, I'm working on tree balls and I think I've got those now. I just need to make sure I'm a little quicker on the boards.
this one's going to be the other side of that 15 inch tool if I cut in my last session so yeah I'm a little distracted because of work um, but so be it I'm gonna race this sons of bitch see what happens like dog shit after pushing myself pretty hard for the past hour and a half doing all that crap I just put up but now do another single and then another white oak underhand <laughs> that'll push me over the way fatigue so I'm probably just gonna go half ass on this underhand I just want to work on lines and recoil. This is really hard white oak. Freaking dragon now. I don't know what kicked my ass, but something surely did. FYI, I have lost almost 70 pounds in the past uh, 20 months, and I've lost 50 in the past seven months. So I am uh, learning to survive on very few calories, and I'm uh, adapting myself to fat. Uh, for example, I sip on a bulletproof coffee while I'm training, which normally consists of a um, tablespoon of uh, coconut oil, a little bit of MCTs, uh, a teaspoon of ghee, um, and some uh, a uh, little bit of Himalayan salt, as well as a, a teaspoon of um, C8, which is uh, another uh, short-chain fatty acid, uh, medium-chain uh, triglyceride fatty acid, MCT. Um, but so yeah I'm surviving on nothing and trying to drop this weight you know, I, I don't know where I'm going to stop at the reason why I say that is because 235 is how much I weighed in 1997 which is when I graduated from law school and so um, yeah I think I'm probably pretty close and uh, the 238 that I am now is a hell of a lot different than the 235 that I was then. I'm a lot harder now. Got a lot more muscle mass. Um, lots of years of heavy lifting. You know, I could still, if I wanted to, I could still bang out 600 for a set of 8 or 10. It damn near kill me, but I could do it. And I could probably squat 405 for 12 to 15 if I wanted to. Um, but I'm not gonna. Don't have to. Don't need to. But, yeah. So... The reason why I'm telling you all this is because you know I may start talking a bit more about um, food, a bit more about input, and a bit more about uh, how to increase your energy. Uh, because I'm going to try and something here by adding some carbs back in to improve my energy reserves uh, while I'm training. 
Just a thought. I don't know. See what happens. Research. That's what I'm all about. Research, learning, adapting, and hopefully overcoming and doing more. That's what my goal is. Uh, so, if you all haven't figured out by now, I am. I'm a worker. I'm a grinder. I'm a person who may not have the genetic gifts of others, but I will work my ass off. Uh, and I do that. And just I do that in every facet of my life, uh, whether it be work, play, or just freaking turkey hunt for that matter you know I mean I take it all seriously I mean it's it's something I enjoy if I'm gonna do something it's gonna be full board so with that said yay